What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Red River Aviation. Hope you guys are on a fantastic day today. And today we have the August 2020 Albuquerque International Airport update for you guys. I really hope you guys are excited for today's video. If you guys are, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and turning on the notification bell so you guys never miss out on any content to come. Got a pretty awesome Albuquerque update for you guys today. I do want to make one note real quick before we get started that I apologize about the lighting. Um, it uh, had a couple of uh, bad miscues and was not able to get it recorded in the morning. So, had to get it recorded now. I do have a lot of stuff for the end to talk to you guys about. So, but I'm sure you guys want to see the planes first. So, let's get started. Starting off with a brand new model right here. We have the Frontier Airlines our A320. This is Griswold the Bear. Just arrived in from Denver, Colorado on the turnaround. They have returned. It's like uh, three or four weekly at least. So, so I'm finally glad to have a nice and detailed Frontier aircraft for uh, the flights that I, out of the airports I have. Right here we have the Delta Connection Ember Ear J170 filling in for an Ember 175 with enhanced winglets. He just arrived in from Los Angeles which has returned. It's about a daily flight so nice to see the flight back. Really need some Ember 175s bad or at least the 175 with the slanted winglets like this but the 170 is not cutting it man. I need something that's on the west coast heading out to Los Angeles today. Right here we have the Delta Airlines of E321 and thank you livery by Aero Classics. He's going to be turning around back out to Atlanta or Citrus Aviations Airport. This has finally got back to the one daily Airbus A321 which is not bad considering it was only two or three daily flights before the pandemic. So I know Citrus only has normal A321s but I did want to kind of switch it up so We'll just say that it's still kind of normal, but just thought I would get some rotation in here for you guys. Pushing back out of the uh, corner uh, Delta gate here on the south side, we have the Delta Connection Amber Ear J170. This is the Gemini Jets version. He's pushing back out for Salt Lake City or at Sol or Fly Salt Lake City, in or uh, I'm sorry, at Fly Salt Lake City um, for uh, the subscriber route. Uh, if you guys want a subscriber route, just uh, go to the Google form. Must be realistic for the airport if you guys want one, and I can definitely add you to the list. But he's heading on the turnaround back up to Salt Lake City. So the operations for Delta are looking up. Uh, we still lack uh, getting Minneapolis back. We'll see where that is next year. But for right now, we have the three core routes that have been here for the long haul uh, year round. And then tail on with this Alaska Airlines Boeing 737-800. He arrived in from Seattle, and he'll be turning around today. Uh, one daily flight's been 737-800s and 900s. So just the mix and match. But overall, some good stuff there for Alaska. It looks like the route's going strong. Similar to Delta Atlanta, a couple of daily flights or so. We got a couple empty gates here. We got one back there in the corner that was Americans obviously Jet Blue is not returned and another American gate I'll talk about American stuff right now loading up for the turnaround out to Dallas Fort Worth here we have the American Airlines Boeing 737-800 TWA retro heritage paint scheme this one hasn't been back in Albuquerque for a long time in the model airport so I thought you know you know what why don't we bring it back so he's heading out on turnaround to Dallas uh, I know how I mentioned all the last update they were all Ember at j 175s for Dallas that is and finally went back to like four or five daily 737s to kind of just abruptly just hey we're already back to the top so not bad uh, great to see the uh, increased or the uh, equipment change for mainline aircraft and hopefully everything's going route good on that route we'll have to see and then right here we have the American Eagle Ember at j 175 heading out to Chicago O'Hare still a daily flight Los Angeles is over there or sorry Phoenix is over there Los Angeles is still canceled or whatever. I'm sure SkyWest will take over that route soon. It got way pushed back for Tulsa. I've not looked for Albuquerque, so it may be pushed back even more. And so, um, not bad, but definitely, um, hopefully, the rest of the routes will. Right here, we have the new Liberty United Express Ember Air J175. He came in from San Francisco, which has returned, and also Chicago Air, which is also returned. I apologize, guys. I cannot talk. I am exhausted today. But uh, anyways, those two routes, Chicago and San Francisco, have both returned for United uh, on the Ember Air J175. Hopefully, the frequencies get back to where they were, especially mainline for Chicago. We'll have to see how it all goes, but definitely saw uh, signs of improvement as they return to Albuquerque first over Reno. And um, well, Tulsa's kind of had it back, but Tulsa's kind of uh, different uh, geographic-wise. So nice to see there for United. And right here, we have the second new aircraft for the update. Right here, we have my brand new United Airlines Boeing 737-800 in the Star Alliance livery with the new paint scheme. I do have the old one, but the new one just came out. And obviously, it's the more accurate one by NG Models. 
Uh, I talked about in the review that shade of blue is a little off, especially in uh, non-bright conditions, or non-sunny conditions, rather, I should say. So obviously it looks a little dark, which it is in these conditions. Anyways, he is turning out to Denver, Colorado today, obviously, for the uh, only main line that they fly. This is normally A319s and A320s, uh, currently just one daily and then a couple RJs earlier in the day. But I wanted to get this model in here, so I thought uh, we'll just say it was a substitution here. And such an awesome aircraft. It's really good besides the uh, blue uh, malfunction but not bad at all. Uh, really glad to have it. And right here we have the Southwest Islands Boeing 737-700 in the Canyon Blue Paint Scheme. Southwest has had um, a handful of flights, a couple more, but it's pretty much the same from the last update. Four daily flights to Phoenix, three to Dallas Love Field in Denver, two daily flights to Oakland, and one daily flight to Los Angeles, Oakland, Las Vegas, Phoenix, um, Chicago Midway, and Baltimore. Uh, Midway and Baltimore are the notable 737-800 flights, but I think maybe Phoenix has one, so not bad. Um, did want to make note that I completely lost, oh, uh, the Los Angeles flight, I've noticed through Orange County, Reno, and uh, Albuquerque now as well, the last couple months, I don't know why, but the flight arrives real early in the morning, so I thought that was very interesting, but anyways, to stop the rambling, uh, this is 737-700, arrived in from Los Angeles, and he's going to be heading out to Phoenix. And right here we have the Legion Air, Airbus E319 with Sharklets, we'll say that he's doing the Orlando Sanford turn today, Las Vegas, uh, Austin and Orlando have all been going. Did buy a new uh, uh, Allegiant model, so I'm very excited for that, and it will be coming soon enough. Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700 in the current paint scheme arrived in from. Um, nope, I have a, I had a, a little. Uh, um, what's it called? I had a little uh, error when I was making my list here for the routes, but that's all right. I uh, arrived in from Oakland, going to be heading out to Denver. And right here we have the South Charlotte's Boeing 737-800 and Triple Crown 1 livery. This thing uh, plane did a very interesting combination of flights. It went, uh, so Citrus caught it in the Moines uh, a couple days ago. I can't exact, remember, uh, July 31st, I think. Uh, Citrus caught it in the Moines, and then it went to Denver, then it went to Orange County, and then it went to maybe Sacramento or somewhere, I can't, or maybe Oakland, and then it went to Albuquerque, so I thought that was really cool that it went to all those air, or he caught it, and then it went to both my model airports, so we'll say he came in from Oakland as well, I apologize about that, and he's going to be heading out to uh, Las Vegas. Right here we have the NG model Southwest Airlines, Boeing 737-800 new livery, getting bags on board for Chicago Midway, and he arrived in from Baltimore, BWI. Beautiful aircraft and nice to see that turnaround. The lighting's honestly not bad during this time of the day, just not ideal. But it will be a morning update next time, I promise. But unfortunately, at that point, school will probably be starting. South Australia is going to 700 in the current paint scheme. Push back for Dallas Love Field. He arrived in from Phoenix Sky Harbor to conclude the whole concourse, man. That goes by fast every single time. FedEx Express, Boeing 767-300 Freighter, just arrived in from Memphis a couple minutes early as pushing back out of the common use heavy cargo gate right over here. We have the UPS um, Boeing 767-300 Freighter pushing back with service out to Louisville. So some good turns. I haven't seen any UPS A300 757s. That's why I just left the gates open because I didn't see any of them. And then there's the cargo warehouse looking nice. Got a lot of equipment over there etched up due to the lack of cargo aircraft, which I'm not sure if that was just a glitch or what happened. I think there may have been one FedEx A300 and that was it. And then just the two daily 767s, of course. United Express Ember ERJ 175 doing the Houston IAH turn, which has not been mainline, just mainly E-175s, I think a couple E-145s as well, so hoping mainline comes back, we'll see we're just going to have to be patient, trust the process this is the old livery one with the good uh, wings unlike the uh, the current one unfortunately, just crazy how you mess up such a simple and perfect mold like that. American Eagle Bombardier Sierra Day Dash 700, service out to Phoenix Sky Harbor today, arrived in um, on the earlier flight, they usually do one Sierra Day 900 and one Sierra Day 700, I don't know when mainline will return uh, I'm assuming it's going to be baby buses if it does, maybe a 320 or 321 here and there, but uh, definitely not any of the AAL stuff, that's for sure. And yes, um, I don't think any of you guys have asked, but I just will clarify. That red is how it is on the actual apron. It is not the numbers for some reason and down here at the end, which I'm not sure about. And then our final aircraft on approach. Right here we have the South Island Boeing 737-800 in the uh, Heart 1 with the uh, current paint scheme just arrived in from Dallas Love Field Room, and he's gonna be heading out back to, out to Phoenix Sky Harbor as well to conclude this update. Okay, real quick before I wrap up this video, I do have a couple things to go over. They will be more in depth and split, explained in a uh, upcoming channel update, but I got a couple things to start. First and foremost, I wanted to give a couple shout outs today. 
Uh, ID Aviation uh, made an awesome airport update and then gave me a mention on the American S80, so I wanted to thank him very much. Got a great channel. Go check him out. Go subscribe. And then I also wanted to give a big shout out to Outer Rim Aviation. Uh, his mom emailed me and let, him know, or let me know that it was his birthday recently. I thought it would just be a nice gesture to give him a little shout out. So happy, birth happy late birthday probably now, my friend, and go check out his channel as well. So I do want to go over a couple things real quick because we did have kind of a shorter update. So I thought, you know what, let's go off about a couple things real quick. So first and foremost, as you guys know, it is that time of the year again. We're approaching Q3, and that means school will somehow uh, most likely start soon. I've had band camp this week, and um, obviously, if you guys haven't noticed the Discord, I haven't been the most active, but I'm going to try my best. So yeah, we had that, and then we'll have evenings next week for that. So already time committing stuff is already on the horizon for me, which pretty much leads to the next couple things I'm gonna talk about. These are kind of some things that um, it, I never really, um, obviously, from last summer, or if you're a, a longer view, or a long, or long time viewer, kind of the last couple of year, uh, or last year uh, type viewer, um, as you guys know, there was a, it was a real rough Q3 and Q4 for us in 2019. Uh, you know, just uh, engagement wise and uh, content wise and everything like that. And um, unfortunately, that was just due to school and then multiple, or yeah, just multiple curricular activities just sent me for a loop in that regard. And unfortunately, um, school obviously will probably start somehow, some way, whether it's virtual, hybrid, or physical. It's supposed to be physical for me right now, so uh, quite the outtake. Um, I do live in a smaller city, so it is kind of understandable. But um, as you guys know, this is kind of... Um, Kind of hard for, uh, or kind of real sad for me to talk about, but this is kind of where the uh, awesome uh, six month period of interacting with you guys 24 7 essentially, or you know, just being real active and everything. Kind of, this is where we all kind of uh, somewhat go our own ways and do our things. And uh, I just want to say, first and foremost, I'm going to try my absolute best to make the content as good and as, you know, what you guys have seen about the last month. I'm going to strive for that um, and improvement on that as well. So you guys can expect that and uh, a lot of things like that. So I'm not going to go too in depth. Uh, it's pretty sad. I'll talk about it in the channel update, but I will be as active as I can, but it may not be to the same degree it was during the last uh, since March. Uh, as well as I do want to touch on one thing because I'm sure you guys have uh, or some yeah probably a lot of you guys have noticed uh, last couple of videos have not been premiered um, I'm looking to probably I think it's time to uh, take a step back from um, often per, or every video premieres I think it's um I feel like it's been a view a view um, yeah, I would say it's been abused uh, to an extent just it's it's really not meant for being used for every video especially ones that are kind of um, not necessarily repetitive but uh, kind of don't have to have it it's not like a big uh, time deal like if it's a massive unboxing that's one thing but if it's the 29th Albuquerque update then yeah I there's uh, sometimes there uh, comes a time where I think um, it's time to let uh, premieres go in the often fashion I may do a couple of them here and there for big Dallas updates for massive unboxings or what they're meant for bigger videos and um, obviously I've abused that and I think it's time to uh, let go so I've decided um, likely unless if I have a change of heart in the next couple of weeks that um, I think I'm just going to go back to uh, this is something I did a lot uh, last year especially just uh, uploading videos normally publishing them and then uh, you guys can expect maybe a premiere here and there we'll see definitely comment your thoughts on that but just want to go over those couple things guys not much or I uh, didn't want to take too much time but I appreciate you guys listening if you did uh, lots of exciting stuff on the way though guys we got uh, I'm hoping to get Phoenix ready uh, obviously school is going to make that very tough but I'm going to do my absolute best to have that ready and um, got a lot more exciting videos as well. We got uh, big time birthday unboxings going to be coming. And then uh, I think I'm going to try to go uh, undergo some equipment changes here soon. And um, obviously new airport, like I said. And then we're going to have some videos with uh, Citrus Aviation. And then there's going to be some other one-off videos. I can probably a couple more views. And then I got a couple of other ideas that I do want to do when I get a routine going. So um, definitely got some ideas ready. And there's going to be a lot of exciting stuff to come. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. 
Lots of exciting stuff to come. Just because an era is ending to a degree on premieres and stuff does not mean that we are still going to go strong. And I don't know. Maybe they'll come back more often. Just depends. I want to get a routine. Just see how everything goes before I commit to keep doing it. And I thought it, uh, you guys are really just split on it. Some of you guys absolutely love them. And some of you guys just don't really care for them. So I don't know. We'll see. But definitely let me know in the comments what you think. And if it's by popular demand, I'll make it happen. And they'll return. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, take care, guys. And stay safe as Red Reed Aviation is signing off.